Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Jalal Ahmad, and in this tutorial, we are going to learn that how to build a temperature converter application in Java Swing. So, for that purpose, I will take a new project. Make sure it is selected. Click Next. You can name it. Click Finish. And now we will take a new JFRAM. You can name it. I will leave it as it is. Click Finish. And now we have a new JFRAM. First of all, I will take a label. And that is centigrade. I will take another label. That is Fahrenheit. And now I will take two text fields. I will edit its text as zero. And in the same way, I will take another text field, sorry, and will edit its text as zero. Okay. Now I will change text size to 24 let's say and this one to let's say it is 18 okay let's change its variable name I will name it as text underscore C C for centigrade and let's rename it as text underscore F that is F for Fahrenheit okay first of all I will take an event that is key and key released event I will take a try catch block and inside I will first use an if check so if this field is empty then I will value this field as 0 so for that I will write if text underscore C dot get text equals to nothing then I will set the text for the Fahrenheit field to zero let's check it if it is working or not press shift F6 Let's suppose it has a value of 22 and here I make this field as empty. You can see it becomes 0. After it, what if it is not empty, then it is sure that it will have some value and we will convert that centigrade value to Fahrenheit and we will assign that value to Fahrenheit field. For that, I will take the centigrade value first let's take a float variable that is c and we will store centigrade value in this variable i will copy variable name of centigrade field and will write it in here and i will write get text but you will see there will be an error because we are having a string in here and we are storing into a float variable that is why it is giving us an error now I will write float dot parse float just copy cut this one and paste it in here now we have taken the centigrade value and store it in a float variable now I will convert it into Fahrenheit that has a formula I will take another float variable and it will be f equal to c multiply 1.8 plus 32 okay now we will write here float to make the error gone so we also converted this value into float after it we will assign this value to the Fahrenheit field so for that 
write text underscore f which is the name of the Fahrenheit text field and set its text to this value but it is also giving us an error incompatible types because we need a string value but we are using a float value in here so for that I will write it as float dot to string and use this float value in here so now that one is completed let's press shift f6 to run this file I will write 2 and you can see the Fahrenheit value I will write another value and you can see the Fahrenheit value I will write 0 and you can see the Fahrenheit value now for the next one just copy all of the code in here and take another event the same event but this time for the Fahrenheit field paste it in here and follow my steps make this one as F this one as C similarly this one as F and this one as C also make this one F this one as C now we also need to change this formula because we are now changing Fahrenheit to centigrade so for that we have another formula just follow my steps right here F minus 32 and divide it by 1.8 so that is the formula for converting Fahrenheit into centigrade okay now let's press shift SX to run the file I will write here 2 something is wrong and yes here we will write C this value now press shift F6 to run the file write here 2 and you can see the corresponding value right here 3 23 and you can see the corresponding value right here 0 the corresponding value and right here 32 the corresponding value you can see it so that was about this tutorial I hope you have learned something new today using our previous knowledge in this series so guys if you like my video please hit like button for me and also do you leave your comment about my way I teach you thanks for now